Old forts, this is science, this is vinegar, baking soda, carbon dioxide, action, reaction, cause, effect. This is great stuff. You've done this before. It's a chemical reaction. Vinegar and baking soda. You can do vinegar and baking soda for a year. Kids never say, oh, that's stupid. You know what they say? They say, do it again! Do it again, so you better be ready. You better have a, two gallons of vinegar behind you. Oh, look at that. Do it again! <laughs> but then, here's what you do, something different. You change the variable. The Steve Spangler, you all know him, right? Am I name dropping him? You know who he is? Steve Spangler out of Denver. Steve Spangler taught me that it's not science until kids start asking questions, which I like that. So what happens if you put soap in the vinegar? Now we're doing science. Other than the, it's okay to start asking questions, it's just a demonstration. Which there's room for demonstrations, but don't call it science. If it's, if it's them watching you do it and then you clean it up and put it away and they don't get to see it again for another month until you're in a good mood, that's not science. That's them watching you do stuff. So who gets to be the boss of it? Do they get to be the boss of it? Sure, why not? Well, they might get on the floor. Well, then do it outside. I also want you to know that right now this is half and half, right? It's half, it's half full, there's vinegar here. You can fill this up with water and still get the same kind of reaction. I want you to know that. You can dilute vinegar more than you realize and keep using it over and over and over and over and over again. So, baking soda and vinegar on a big scale. Baking soda and vinegar on a smaller scale, right here. Don't overthink it. It doesn't always have to be sexy. Somebody will do this though all morning. It's just vinegar and baking soda. Now we're going to change one variable. We put some coloring, right? There's one variable change. Then we change another variable. It's just what I did here. It's soapy vinegar, just in a different, in a different container. Now I'm using it like a, you know, with a pipette, like an adult. Yeah, their kids are going to do this. So just, just calm down and know it. <laughs> Can't believe he poured it in. What is the invitation? What is this inviting them to do? Pour. So if you don't want them to pour it, find a different way to put it out. And always, 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 always put out some goggles, because then they think they're doing something real dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find some goggles. They'll tell you they're working. I'm working! <laughs> and you also need to, like again, just to kind of calm down with the goggles, you put a bunch of goggles out, don't be all like, those are the science goggles! Because somebody's going to need to wear them to come to circle time. And somebody's going to need to wear them to go outside. And somebody's going to need to wear them to ride the bike. So don't, you don't need to be the boss of the goggles. It's going to be fine. <laughs> we had a guy, he was having a rough go with the potty training one time. You're like four years old. And one day I'm just like, you know what? Go get your goggles. Maybe that'll help you. <laughs> so he put his goggles on. And on his way to the bathroom, he grabbed a cake from the cake counter. And he put on the cake and the goggles, and he ran to the bathroom 